guys welcome to the channel if you are new to the channel please subscribe the channel for more such videos so in today's topic we'll understand what is the main difference between vacuum and vacuum full so before that let us understand few topics so what is oid and what is the table's physical structure so that uh, um, we can uh, whenever we will see the practically we will understand in a, a more details about it so first thing what is oid so basically oid is a numeric object identifier which is assigned for the objects in postgres so any object which is then in a postgres it will have the unique numeric object identifier so for database for tables we'll have the uh, identifier oid so what is the command to check the oid for the database as well as table let us see so select that name comma oid from pg underscore database this will give us the oid for the database so why i am why why we need to check oid so we'll come to know later when we'll do the vacuum and vacuum full so we'll able to see what is the difference so so one thing is like how will you come to know in the background what is the which is the file for that specific uh, table specific database so with this command you will come to know and then the second command is select oid under from pm pg underscore class where rel name equal to the table name okay also there is a one single command through which we'll come to know what is the location of the table okay so select pg underscore relation underscore file path and we have to pass the table name so this command will come to know which is the exact location for the table okay now let us check uh, what is the physical structure how it looks uh, for the table so so what whatever data it is present in postgres it stores the data inside base directory okay so in the base directory you will have the folder structure with the database name first and inside the database name you will have the table okay so here you can see 16448 so you can say like from the previous uh, uh, commands above commands you can see oid of the database we have got so you can relate it like 16448 is the database oid which we got from the pg underscore database command and after that say uh, for one of the table the oid is 16448 16458 you can say okay so now what are these three files so 16458 the file which is there it will contain your actual data okay and the underscore sm uh, fsm is basically free space map, map file which will track your free space that means your dead as well as reusable tuples and underscore vm the third file is visibility map it basically contains your actor visible to the all the transactions that are that means which are the live tuples okay so these two concepts are clear okay now now let us move to the our main topic uh, about the vacuum and vacuum full so let us understand first why should we use vacuum what is the purpose of vacuum so vacuum is basically it reclaims the space for the records which are deleted or obsolete okay and it will make it available for reuse till that it will not use that space until unless that the absolute or the deleted are marked as reuse for that we use vacuum table name command okay and the second command is basically it will verbose it will show you all the details which it is doing in the behind as well as it will analyze the uh, table okay which is used by the query optimizer and then vacuum full vacuum full is basically it will it will create a new table with no extra space as well as it will return the free space to the OS that means your old table will get deleted and the new table will be created with the 
live tuples with the actual rows which are present currently and the old will be deleted so that uh, it, it can release the space to the OS.